over till it's over. That's for sure. Lenny Kravitz, it's Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day, as always. Dun, dun, dun. So, uh, something along the lines of the power of love, which is pretty pretty much what I think I'm going to be calling this, because it's true. Uh, really, really cool personal experience uh, that I recently had, and it was all because of you guys, um, because of the shows, the show prep. And me being, you know, radio style, right? And being in broadcasting back in the day. And when I was really, really young, I'd sit in front of my stereo. Uh, just And I had two speakers. And I was downstairs. And I didn't really affect anyone else in the house. So I pretty much could blast it. Had my little bird. And I'd sit there and play solitaire. And I was a total nerd and whatever. And just loved music. Had records and just played them all the time. So music's always, always, always been a really big game changer for me. It's an emotion producer, for sure. Or oftentimes, it even like if I feel like feeling a certain way, I can listen to music. Or when I'm in a certain mood and I and I want to really just enhance that or continue that feeling, um, I can listen to certain types of music and kind of keep that going. So because of show prep, I actually found a song that really, really made me think about my SP, my specific person. Right, really made me think about her in a way that was just like a. It'd been a while. It'd like it kind of been on a little weird thing lately, and it's I think it's some of it's time of year, but whatever. It's just you know stuff is what it is, and I'm not gonna get too personal. But the beautiful part was the way this song played out, the way I heard it the first time, just doing the show prep. Then I did my show. Then I basically listened to the 30 second snippet of it, uh, snippet of it the next morning, and. I think I ended up like probably that day, like that morning, I went after I was leaving the coffee shop, I'm like, I want to hear the whole song. So I played the whole song. I think I played it one more time the next morning. And literally that day, I got just kind of an out of the blue, amazing text. It was just really, really beautiful. And typically how it kind of goes when a little bit of time passes and something really amazing kind of happens. And it's just strange how it's been. Again, it's a journey. I don't know. I just kind of been sailing on, taking the wave, enjoying it as it comes. But what I wanted to point out was the importance of what the song did for me. It's not just that I like the song. It's not just that it made me think of somebody. It wasn't. It was far, far more powerful than that to me. It was literally, it put me in the place of that love, of that imagery. It, the words were so real. It brought her into my face and my imagination, and I was singing these words to her, you know, it was my heart, my connection, my thought transmission, like all of that beauty in one moment and the power of it. And then on top of that, I get this enormous feel of love, right? This just incredible feeling of love, which is definitely the connection. And it's very strong when you push a lot of energy like that, when you push a lot of love like that, when you're imagining your SP, that love is what they feel. It's like when I said when you're angry, they feel that. They feel the emotion. And when that emotion is extreme, it's almost a guarantee they feel it. Almost a guarantee. I know a lot of people are like, do you think they feel it? I don't know. I don't know if they feel it. I mean, it really, I don't. There's no way I could know. I can guess, but there's no way I can know if your person feels it or not. Everybody can feel stuff. And usually when you have a huge amount of emotion behind it, they do feel it. They may not know what it is, but they do feel it. And when it's love, they almost always you pop into their head, and then love feelings. It's an amazingly powerful exercise. So one, it creates that feeling. Two, when you're feeling like that, and people have said it before, you're kind of glowing, right? There's almost this energy about you, like you're just really stupid in love. There's that, you notice it, right? When you see two couples that are newly in love, they just have that look about them. There's this look about just being dumb in love. And that feeling is so powerful when you have it that way. And a lot of the times it even goes so far, right, as to produce like tears in your eyes, an actual physiological response, a mechanism within your body that starts squirting water out of places, right? It is an amazing, amazingly powerful motive, powerful force when it comes to manifesting. And I wasn't trying to imagine them or anything. It was an issue of, I had a moment where I was connecting with them just in my own mind in love. I wasn't imagining holding them. I wasn't imagining being in bed with them. I was just imagining love and keeping that connection and that power of just making sure that love is still ebbing and flowing between you two. Love is the thing that in the end will win. 
And that is what I know for sure, and it's always been the case. In the end, love wins. It does. Love is a very powerful force. It doesn't allow people to get too far, and it does bring people back together. So when love is involved, love can be that game changer. You know, kind of a lot of people, especially men, that's maybe more our thing. Well, women with their kids for sure. But that whole I die for you concept, that comes from love. That comes from that motivation behind it. I did a show a while back about how love's not really an emotion, and it's not, technically, based off of science. I think emotions are facial expressions. Emotions are things like smiling, frowning, you know, anything that creates basic facial expressions considered an emotion. Love is a motivator. Love is like an influencer. Love is like a power. Love is like a motor. Love is not an emotion. It's way beyond that. You can experience emotions while being in love. I can experience frustration. I can experience happy while I'm in love. I can experience, right? You can experience emotions while in love. And love is such a powerful thing. And that's what I'm talking about, bringing it into play. I don't want people to think, ah, it's just an emotion. When you're on the opposite side of that, it's kind of the opposite effect, by the way. So if you're not in a loving place with the person that you're trying to attract to you, you're not helping yourself either. But it's, again, it was the power of this. And literally within a short period of time, doing nothing more than literally listening to this song, I think all the way through three times, maybe four, three or four. I don't remember exactly. Two days from the first second I actually listened to the song once for the show thing, because I started listening to it, I'm like, this is cool. And the video was awesome, too. So I was just like, oh, my God, this is rad. And then I was just like listening to it. I'm like, well, this is definitely going to be in the show. There's no question there. And then it just made me all lovey, you know. And then I, yeah, like I said, so very, very powerful. Hopefully this helps. And again, by the way, not everybody's going to have a song, right? But my point is, when you have those things that you know you love, I don't know what your thing is. Mine, music is definitely one of them. When you have that thing that you love, that you can, no matter what, do, and it just brings that, like, you can can affect your emotion almost at will, right? It's very easy. It's like I can be having a horrible day and then go for a walk in nature and, ah, you know, and I'll see a frog and I'll see birds and bunnies and, ah, okay, yeah, I feel better, right? And that's your experience, right? It's like, what, what cool nature stuff do I see? Or maybe I go down to the beach and I walk along and it's an issue of what sticks and what kind of seaweed and what sort of animals or do I see any dolphins playing in the water or, you know, what's my experience? Wherever your thing is, whatever makes you feel love and happy or at least allows you to get yourself into a place where you can be sort of at peace and be in love and be thinking about what you like. I mean, again, the song helped for me because it was just so perfectly worded. And it just, and, you know, and it was two shows ago, by the way. It's the song, I think, I Jason Mraz, uh, When You're In Love or In Love or something like that. Jason Mraz, great song. And it just, that's the song. I mean, I just loved it. I, I didn't want to play it again because I just played it like two shows ago. And, I'm you know, I've got another great song going out with that happens to be the same title as the show title, which, I don't know, now might be a really good time to talk about thinking of, closing out the show. I hope this makes a difference. Again, find your way, find your way to happiness. Songs are great for me. If you like music, I highly recommend it because it's so easy to control, especially on YouTube. You can look up any song in the world on YouTube. It's pretty awesome. Uh, So going out with uh, Huey Lewis and the news, it's the power of love. Dan Radio Style.